What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. I just got home from work and what did I find? Another front runner package. Cracked open the box to find mounts and all sorts of other goodies. Front runner packaging is phenomenal as always. This might take me a second to actually undo. But this is the front wind fairing for my roof rack that I just made a video on. I feel like this definitely should have came with my roof rack. Let me pop this open and we'll take a better look. Inside the box I got the front runner wind fairing size for the width of my roof rack that I have and it's got a kind of semi or satin finish on the words and more of a matte look on the overall wind fairing. With this rubber strip on the bottom and whatever that little wind slot is there. But I say that this probably should have came with the rack because of how high it sits off the roof of the Land Rover. Get a lot of wind noise through there. It comes with little wind deflectors uh, that come included with the rack. They don't really do that much, and I feel like once I start putting more stuff up there, it's just gonna get worse and worse. As far as fuel economy goes, I've gone from about 15.4 miles per gallon down to about 15. That's been about a week and a half of driving, so I'm sure once I get more stuff up there, it's probably gonna go down, and the wind fairing will definitely help, hopefully push some of that wind over whatever I'm carrying. I've also got like a ski rack in here that's going on soon, but waiting on some hardware to get that mounted up. Got the brackets over here, some sort of adhesive strip, the little hardware packet from Front Runner, and the instructions that are usually very well laid out. This is the gap on the Land Rover that the wind fairing is going to fill in. As you can see, the roof rack itself sits pretty high off of the roof there, and I started by taking off these wind fairings that come with the roof rack. They're just these angled brackets that mount underneath and you can kind of play with the spacing to try to make it better but I wasn't having much luck and I think it'll just overall be better with the wind fairing. This corner cap is held on by one bolt so I just pop that right off. The underside of your mounts looks like this. 13 millimeter bolt in the slot and then I left them loose until I positioned it and tighten those down. This right here is one of the wrenches, the smaller one that came with your roof rack, and that adjusts the angle of it. And once you have that, you can lock that down. And here we are, and then I came back and tightened down the front little ones. I believe those are probably actually the three millimeter. This is probably the four millimeter that does all the other bolts. And then you have your 13, 13 millimeter nut that you have to tighten down. Once you've centered it, you're done. I have it so that the rubber strip is making contact so there's no gap under here. That clear adhesive piece is actually for underneath this. It's to protect your paint. I don't really care about the paint that much on this uh, Land Rover. It was my budget build, so I just went ahead and didn't use that. But you can if you have a newer car and you're concerned about it. I didn't use it. Like all the other front runner accessories I've mounted to the rack, this went on super straightforward and easy. Instructions very clear, a few bolts here and there, some adjusting, lock it down and you're done. If you want to know how this does, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be reviewing different components of the rack as I use them or if I don't use them, if it was worth it, so on and so forth. Comment down below if you have a roof rack and have found different solutions for wind fairings. I'm sure you could pretty easily make a custom one that will bolt right up. Let me know what you got and what you got going on. As always, hit that like button and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, night, evening, whatever it is. Have a good one. Let me